Andy Burkowski here for VGS. We're continuing our Bioshock Infinite Voxophone Guide. These are chapters four and five we mixed. It is the gateway entrance to Monument Island and the island itself. There's only one Voxophone in the Monument Island gateway entrance. As you can see, this is uh, right near the end before you actually go into the island. It's the only instance where you're going to have to flip a switch. You go to the back here on the left. You can grab the first Voxophone. Now, we're not going to be playing them now, but they are available at the end of this uh, particular guide. It lets you uh, see the ones you've missed. Now, now you're in the actual island. Take a quick left, and you'll find a Voxophone here in the locker. It's going to be one that's uh, difficult to miss. The next one from the same character can be a little bit tricky. This is in the room right before you go up into the elevator. There are four different rooms you can enter. This is the only room with an airlock, and inside you'll notice it kind of looks like this, and you'll be able to get one of the, uh, as you can see, just like that. Um, Similar Voxophone guys for here. Okay, that's number three. Now we're going for number four again. Very, very hard to miss. It's when you go into the Tesla room, as I am uh, calling it. Obviously, that's not what it's actually called. That is number four. And finally, number five can be grabbed right near the end of chapter five before you break into Elizabeth's cage. Again, keep watching after this. You can hear all of the Voxophones that we've uh, since gotten and check to make sure you got them all. Enjoy. And the Lord saw the wickedness of man was great, and he repented he had made man on the earth. Rain! Forty days and forty nights of the stuff, and he left not a thing that walked alive. You see, my friends, even God is entitled to a do-over. And what is Columbia if not another ark for another time? I guess even in a restricted area, these crackers need someone to clean the floors. <laughs> Those politicians and scientists don't bother about what they say around me because I'm some half-leaded colored boy. But I can tell they scared out of their wits by that thing they got locked upstairs. Yes, sir. They got a tiger by the tail, and they don't know whether to hang on or run. Uh, Mr. Thompson, sir, I, I replaced the entire fuse banker's ass, and the lights were all in working order last night. Last night? There they go again. <laughs> we go through boxes of fuses every day as of late, and they're just in the siphon alone. I don't... Oh! Oh, something's happening! What? Ah! Ah! It is one thing to imagine one's future and another to see it. I have seen the seeds of fire that will prepare the Sodom below for the coming of the Lord, but Elizabeth shall sow those seeds, not I. I will fall before the job is done. But she shall take up my mantle. The Lord is calling me home. I feel his love in every tumor, because they are the train which takes me to his station. And I go with joy, knowing that Elizabeth will take my earthly place. But the false shepherd is coming to lead my lamb astray. I will not board that train until she is safe from his deceptions. makes the girl different. I suspect it has less to do with what she is, and rather more with what she is not. A small part of her remains from where she came. It would seem the universe does not like its peas mixed with its porridge.